we're talking more about what's been happening recently and people are here i'm here to give you the updates you know so yes uh if this is your first time watching me or watching my channel please subscribe and um for my 100k plus 100 000 okay oh my god <laughs> i'm imagining right for my 100 <laughs> 100 thousand plus subscribers thank you for sticking by and don't forget to also you know share like and comment so let's get into business so yes um, as of uh, july 1st uh, the Canadian government actually has uh, said that they will be accepting online application for visitors visas study permits and um, your work permit and the electronic travel uh, authorizations okay so guys don't wait wait no more start putting that application okay don't wait don't wait don't wait don't wait it is open start putting your application right now now for uh, those of you in canada you can also do that it's not only uh, applicable to those outside canada if you're in canada please and please put in your work permit applications online do not submit the paper applications they are not accepting paper application and for students as well if you are um, planning to start another program in september the same thing applies to you in canada putting online paper application is not acceptable okay uh, now that we established this uh we know the biometrics uh we need the biometrics for this application right and maybe for the tools that are new that haven't done it before don't worry and the Canadian government said just keep putting your application online your application would not be rejected because you know you don't have biometrics uh, however once your um, they will request that you come for it once your VAC office is open that's your visa application center is open I'll put in a link below just so you can know or check if your uh, country is amongst those uh, with, um, offices that are currently open okay so you can check the link in the description box below to see if your country is in there like i said if your country is not there you have nothing to worry about the application will be processed it won't be refused please however if they need you to provide you will be contacted okay but just make sure that all applications are online okay now um there are some essential workers that are temporarily exempted from this so there's a temporary policy you know covering them so if you are in the agri agri food sector if you are, are a truck driver and if you are a health care worker yes and uh, you have a job offer and you know because of this you know you can't come in no the government is saying you can actually come in because you guys are essential workers and this is why i keep saying if you want to come to canada even as a student look out there for you know uh jobs that are in demand this particular three sets of uh, uh, sectors I, I demand right now so if i were you a student i'll look at you know getting admission in one of these um you know sectors so let me go back so i don't deviate so if you are in this sector and you have your job offer you, you just went out and you want to come in you can actually come in just make sure you have a plan in place for, for your quarantine you have to quarantine for 14 days it is mandatory and you'll be asked for your plan of quarantine at the port of entry and you will you will also be asked to do your biometrics at the point of entry so these are just for temporary measures or policy in place for this set of people in this occupation but again the agri agricultural agri food and the healthcare workers and the, the truck drivers okay so yeah that's it and then another news which i know is not is no more news to us is the hiv visas that is temporarily you know freezed um, by the US um, government. So this is definitely going to affect our country not in they're not able to return back to the United States. So yes, the um, immigration minister came to Canada. We are welcoming you to Canada. So you can come. <laughs> I'm, I'm not an immigration minister, but I mean, they are welcoming them to Canada. So yes, you can come. So if you are out there and uh, most of these jobs I would know, according to research, are uh, more on the inter, uh, the information technology sectors so and this is also like a hot cake right now in canada as um i'm well informed you know and i know that the um shopify is actually you know recruiting some of these people so you may want to look into this for those of you that are actually looking 
looking to see if you can actually get a job offer in Canada, looking to see if you are very good in the high tech and everything, and you have enough experience and you're very knowledgeable in this aspect, please look into it and apply. You may just be lucky to get that, you know, job offer and then you can also submit your application online. So yeah, that's it for now. Uh, as for the students, actually, and um, if you if you haven't gotten your um, study permit prior to March 18th, we don't know what's going to happen. However, there will be more updates on that, on how you, you the, you're going to come in for the um, the fall schools for the fall session. We don't know yet. Just keep an eye on this channel. That's why you have to subscribe so I can keep bringing you, you know, the news. Subscribe to this channel, like, share and comment. Let us relate, you know, on this channel. So, yeah, so there will be more updates on that and how, you know, the students are going to actually start their classes and, you know, go about the whole schooling, this thing for fall 2020. So stay tuned. I'm, I'm here to bring those information to you. And you can only encourage me by subscribing and sharing. Again, I'm emphasizing. So, yeah, that's it. And again, uh, if, you need, if you need me to help you with some application, I am, you know, I am not promising, but you know, you may just be lucky for me to pick you. However, the only way is for you to follow me on Instagram. My handle is at timitui at timitui at t i m m i t u y i. Uh, you'll be seeing it, uh, you can see it on your screen, and I also drop it in the description box below. You can also follow me on Twitter as the same name at timitui t i m m i t u y. So you may just be lucky randomly if you have your documents complete. I could just, you know, help you out with the visa, you know, work payment, or even it could even be express entry, you know. You never can tell, but you have to follow me, and then you also have to subscribe. So subscribe, share, and like. You may just be lucky I pick you. Thank you for watching. Bye.